Hello students, welcome to session 2 of Globalization. What's Globalization? A quick recap. It's a process of rapid integration or interconnection between countries. We'll just go back to the trade history about Globalization. Various trade routes connecting India and South Asia to markets both in the East and the West and extensive trade that took place along these routes. It was trading interest which attracted various trading companies such as the East India Company to India. There are various positive and negative effects of the foreign trade. Its positive effects are with the opening of trade, goods travel from one market to another. Choice of goods in the market, prices. Prices of similar goods in the two markets tend to become equal. Producers in the two countries now closely compete against each other even though they are separated by thousands of miles. Foreign trade thus results in connecting the markets or integration of markets in different countries. The economies of the various countries are getting interlinked and compete in the markets located in other parts of the countries of the world. For the buyers, import of goods produced in another country is one way of expanding the choice of goods beyond what is domestically produced. The foreign trade and the integration of markets. Foreign trade creates an opportunity for the producers to reach beyond the domestic markets that is the markets of their own countries. For buyers, import of goods produced in another country is one way of expanding the choice of goods beyond what is domestically produced. In general, with the opening of trade, goods travel from one market to another. Foreign trade thus results in connecting the markets or integration of markets in different countries. What could be the restrictions in trade among different countries? Traditionally, the countries of the world were very conservative and did not allow the foreign trade freely. They imposed many barriers to restrict trade such as high rate of tax, banning export or importing of some products, banning trade with some selected countries. How did foreign trade benefit India and to the other countries, for example, China? To China, Chinese got an opportunity to trade and expand their business. As they were selling it at high selling price, they got high profits. Within a year, 70-80% to 80 of the toy shop have replaced Indian toys with Chinese toys. And how did it benefit India? Indian buyers have more choices now. Prices are cheaper, the designs were new, but due to the cheaper prices and new designs, the Indian toy makers faced lots of losses as their toys are selling for a very less cost. What could be the purpose or the functions of foreign trade? Foreign trade creates an opportunity for the producers to reach beyond the domestic markets, that is, markets of their own countries. Producers can sell their produce not only in markets located within the country, but can also sell it outside their country. Now, what are these MNCs or the multinational corporations? It is a company that owns or controls the production in more than one nation. MNCs set up offices and factories for production in the regions where they can get cheap labor and other resources. This is done so that the cost of production is low and the MNCs can earn greater profits. Many MNCs have wealth exceeding the entire budgets of the developing countries. With such enormous wealth, they have immense power and influence. These are the different MNCs of the country, of the world. Globalization 
is the process of rapid integration and interconnection between the countries. This is one more way through which countries are becoming closer and that is movement of people between countries. People usually move from one country to another in search of jobs or better education. This is also a result of globalization. The transportation technology. In past 50 years, this technological improvement has led to faster delivery of goods across the long distances at lower cost. Containers for transport of goods, that is, they have led to huge reduction in port handling cost. Increase the speed with which goods can reach markets. Airlines. Airlines, the cost of air transport has fallen. This has enabled much greater volumes of goods being transported by airlines. The information and communication technology, that is the IT. IT technology has played a major role in spreading out production of services across the country. Remarkable improvements have in the areas of tele telecommunications, computers and internet. What are telecommunications? This facilitated by the satellite communication devices, facilities as telegraph, telephone, including mobiles, fax, are to be used to contact around the world, to access the information instantly and to communicate in the remote areas. These rapid transformation, how is it all possible? Middle of the 20th century, wherein the production was largely organized within the countries, what crossed the boundaries was mainly the raw materials, foodstuff and finished products. Trade was the main channel connecting distant countries. What are the factors that enabled globalization? The factors which enabled globalization, the first and the foremost one was technology. Rapid improvement in technology has been one major factor that has stimulated the globalization process. Trade barrier. Tax on imports is an example of trade barrier. It is called a barrier because some restriction has been set up. Liberalization. Removing barriers or restrictions set up by the government is what is known as liberalization. With liberalization of trade, Businesses are allowed to make decisions freely about what they wish to import or export. The development in technology. Communication and information technology has developed. Production technology has developed. Transportation and packing technology has developed completely. Now, we move on to what is liberalization? All this technology could have been improved only because of the liberal or the easy rules which has been put up by the government. Wherein liberalization is nothing but removing the barriers or restrictions set up by the government. Liberalization of foreign trade raises volume of trade. It will attract foreign investments which industry will wherein the industry will prosper. Surplus production of each country will be exported and require cheaper goods which will be imported. Foreign trade is considered to be an engine of economic growth of the country. It integrates an economy to a global village. Liberalization has resulted in more choice for the consumers. Now, they get better quality and at a lower price product. Liberalization makes imports and exports easier. It promotes the Indian economy. So this was what we learned from session 2. Liberalization, privatization, globalization, the benefits of globalization, the market forms, the economic reforms that changed our country. So this was the end of session 2. Thank you.